I'm Allison DuPont, I'm an interventional cardiologist. I've been in practice now in North Georgia for about 10 years. In 2019, my husband and I were flying to Mexico for a vacation. We were about halfway from Atlanta to Cabo when a flight attendant in front of us started panicking while she was serving a drink to the man that was sitting in front of me. And she had taken his drink order and made his drink and then turned to give it to him and he was not responding to her. And I was listening to some music, but I saw a look on her face and I took my headphones out and she was, she was saying, sir, sir, over and over again. So I knew something was wrong and I stood up and looked over the seat and I could tell he, was, he had suffered a cardiac arrest. Um, he was already ashen in the face. He was having the agonal respirations. And my husband was seated next to me in the middle seat, um, and he got out and was able to somehow get this man out of the window seat and onto the floor in the aisle. So I started CPR. Um, there was another physician on the flight that came over and alternated chest compressions with me on him. Um, we asked the flight attendant immediately to get the AED. As soon as we got the AED, we put that on him and delivered a shock immediately. He did not have a return of a pulse, and so we continued CPR. I can't recall exactly how many shocks he got, multiple shocks, before we finally got him back. Um, and in the midst of this, I had asked the flight attendant to tell the pilot to land the plane. So um, we ended up landing in Houston. Um, by that point, we had gotten return of spontaneous circulation on the patient, and he actually immediately was coherent. So despite the 15 minutes of CPR, because it was immediate, we started immediately. He was very coherent. He was able to give me his name, his daughter's contact number, all of his medical history, um, medications, all of that he was able to give me. And uh, he laid on the floor in the aisle while we were landing and I kind of just held on to him. And um, EMS came onto the plane and put him um, on a stretcher and, and took him out um, after I had given him all the history that I had. He was taken to a hospital in Houston and had angioplasty done on uh, multiple vessels in his heart and, and recovered from that. So I knew it, was, it would happen to me eventually that I would witness a cardiac arrest in public and um, I'm glad I was there. I think I was there for a reason that day. Um, the fact that he was sitting right in front of me I think made all the difference.